All right. Next one up, we have got Toledo and Notre Dame. Now, this one will not be on regular TV. This will be on the Peacock streaming service, and you have to pay for it. So my guess is there's going to be a lot of illegal streams, I guess you could say. There's going to be a lot of people watching this without having to pay for Peacock because I think this is the only game all season that you would have to pay for with Notre Dame, and I don't know how many people will be doing that. But it will be a sign of the times. It will be, you know, figuring out exactly how many people watch this will be interesting Toledo is a 17-point dog on the road. And remember, Toledo, number two in the country in returning production. I mean, they got everybody back, and they are talented, man. They have got some legit NFL guys on their roster. Notre Dame, short week, played on Sunday night in Tallahassee. They get to come back home. They've got a game next week. I'm 17 points doesn't, like, at first it seemed like, ah, this is easy. It's under three touchdowns. You know, give me the fighting Irish. Man, I think I'm going to ride Toledo here. I, I think they can keep this game close. They can keep it competitive. I think Notre Dame just wants to get out of here with a win, move on to the next one, and and continue improving. Jack Cohn, by the way, super impressive. Super yeah, impressive. Yeah, I told you. What I tell you? Getting away from Wisconsin and getting under a man like Brian Kelly, he's going to look like the best version of Jack Cohn we've ever seen. What you, what you had him on tape and what you thought of him at Wisconsin you need to throw all those thoughts away because he's just going to be a lot better. I don't know what it's going to look like. I just know he's going to be a lot better than he was at Wisconsin because one guy's an offensive genius and the other guy's not. Is Tommy Reese like a bit of a quarterback guru? Do you think that's what's going on here? No, I really, I Gary, I really think Brian Kelly is a really good offensive mind. Hell, he did it at Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah, no, you're you're not wrong. You are not wrong. So, I mean, that he. My God, Deshaun Kaiser got drafted. I mean, what a <laughs> I can actually play yeah. in the NFL. So yeah, maybe you're not wrong. Maybe you're not wrong. Uh how, how do you feel about the game? You you roll Notre Dame? All right. So I am gonna roll with my Irish. So I, I love the Irish. I will tell you this. I have Peacock. I have the paid version of Peacock. So I'm gonna get this game already, right? Gotcha. All right. I'm not going to watch. <laughs> I'm going to intentionally not watch. Because I don't like this shit. Yeah, we talked about this a little bit on on an episode before, and yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Now, if you are losing customers because of streams, I completely understand dual feeding it, having one feed go to the NBC television and one feed go into Peacock. It it shouldn't be that hard to do. You can have the same announcers. Everything can be identical. You're just sending one through the internet and one over a satellite. This is not that complicated. We have the technology to do this. You are openly fucking the old people that grew up loving a Notre Dame football. That's what this is all you're doing. Yes. I, I can't and, argue oh, with By you. the way, all those old people, those are your boosters. All right? The 23-year-old hot shit that knows how to get on the internet and get this, yeah, he ain't giving you any money. Okay. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. You hadn't given me a pick yet. Yeah, my pick, I'm sorry. My pick is Notre Dame. I'm, pe- I'm taking Notre Dame. I'll lay the points. I, I love the uh, the old man rant there. I, I do appreciate it. So Because I do feel the same way that you do. I but, know uh, how to get on Peacock. That's one of the ones I use. I got it. Yeah. Now, here's the problem. Let's say I want to flip back and forth from games. Let's say this game gets a little ugly and a little out of hand but I want to keep checking in on it. I'm not switching from my satellite TV over to peak. That's not as easily done. That's Agreed. a pain in the dick. Yeah, you can't Nobody just change the channel. Nobody wants to do that. Yes. Yes, I agree. I agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.